Hey guys, this is Technology Mafia, and macro lenses for the Sony E-mount system are difficult to find. In fact, there's only one or two out there, one of them being this Sony SEL30M35, and it runs about $250 on Amazon. So, I've always wanted to play around with a macro lens, and then I found this. This is the Mikey automatic extension tube set, and this for $18 on Amazon can turn any lens that you have for your Sony a6000, a6300 into a macro lens. So let's take a look at how it works. All right, so here is the box that the extension tubes come in. Pretty simple. Shows you what is possible with these extenders. And there are two of them in this box. Nothing really else in here. Let me see here. They just come in a plastic bag and there's some documentation. This is what they look like. These are the two of them together. So Mikey, Miki, however you pronounce it. The MKS AF3B 16 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. So these are plastic construction. And that's perfectly fine for the amount of money that you're paying for them. They have a release lever right here, so you can pull down and then disconnect them. So you, now you have, there's the 16 and there's the 10. And they're very easy to use. As you can see, all that they do is they space the lens from the camera body and that allows the lens to focus on objects that are closer and it also zooms in the image. Okay, so here is the kit lens and let me just attach this one. This is the 16 millimeter. See where the white dot is and twist on and that is it. So now you mount this to your A6000, A6300, and autofocus still works, albeit not as well as without these extension tubes, but it still does function. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the difference that these extension tubes make on each of these lenses. All right, so what I have here is just a couple of items that I will be using to try to demonstrate how close you can get with these tube extenders. So the first lens that I'm going to use is actually going to be the 50 millimeter. Here, this is the SEL 50 F18. Quickly becoming one of my favorite lenses for the E-mount. And what I will do first is try to take a picture as close as possible of the Seiko watch that I have in front of me. So let me see if I can try to get focus. And you can see just how far I had to move off the frame in order to get a shot up close of the watch. Now let's see how close I can get by using the 10 millimeter extender. All right, and Let's see. Okay, so it's a bit better now. You could see that the camera was at least in the frame and you could see that the picture is a little closer. Now let's see what happens when we add the 16 millimeter extender to this. So now you have a lens that looks even longer. And now that made a big difference, I will tell you because you could see that, that picture now of the dial. So, so let's try the 35 millimeter lens now. So that is it, that's one. Now let's try using the 16 millimeter tube. I am able to get much, much closer. Let's put both of them together and this is just unbelievable the shots that you can get with that all right 
And the last lens, let's try this out with the kit lens. Let's do the Rubik's Cube here. So with the kit lens, in order to get an up close shot, sometimes you will have to zoom in to get it. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try zooming in as much as I can to get the object to fill the frame as much as possible. And it looks like that is about 30 millimeters. There's one shot. Let's add the 16 millimeter extender tube. All right. And last one, just for fun, let's put both of these together and see how much closer of a shot we can get. All right, and I'm gonna zoom in to 30 here. That is it. So just to show you how much of a difference it makes on the camera. Definitely very cool. If you have something that is tiny, like let's say you need to take a photo of this screw that you're selling on eBay. With the kit lens, uh, okay, that's about as close as I can get. That's zoomed in to 50 millimeter. These two together and just try to get the closest shot that we can. There we go. Turn it on. And now we can zoom in. And let's see. So it's hunting a little bit because I'm too far from it. Look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. So uh, there's the first shot and the second one. Quite a difference. All right, so that is it for this video. Definitely a cool product, especially for the money. For $18, even if it breaks, it's not going to break your bank. And you will be happy to be able to play around and do some very cool photography up close using any of your existing lenses for your Sony E-mount. So definitely check out the link in the description if you're interested. Stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for all the comments and all the likes, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.